to episode 6 of the Pro League Diaries. I am driving to the Stoop Twickenham. Super excited. We, yeah, for those that don't know, we are playing our last Pro League home game at the Twickenham Stoop, which is a rugby stadium in southwest London belonging to Harlequins Rugby Club. So, really prestigious ground, pretty sick stadium, I think 15,000 seats. And yeah, they've, they, England Hockey, GB Hockey, have put down a, a temporary hockey pitch on a rugby pitch uh, for us to play on. So, yeah, really excited. I can't wait to get there and see how it looks, how it plays. It's a pretty innovative technology that England Hockey have um, pumped some money into. It basically means if we can pull this off and it goes well, we can, you know, whack a hockey pitch down in any stadium pretty much around the world um, but yeah pretty excited I will, will give you guys a stadium tour we'll see what the stoops looking like when we turn up in a second and yeah get stuck into it Looking forward to Sunday, but yeah, Team Arabella. <laughs> Friday on Scramble Egg. Yeah. Where's your head at, bro? <laughs> Where's your head at? You mad? You miring, bro? Put the camera away. <laughs> Dave. Dave. Oh. Seconds. <laughs> What lies ahead is absolutely certain of them. They must take the three points here, anything less. And it will be Argentina contesting the final four in Amsterdam starting next Thursday. 
Here we go then, the final men's match in the inaugural FIH Pro League in the regular season. Me, Charlie Brew, for this historic moment is Simon Mason, but New Zealand already have a chance here, and that's a good save from Harry Gibson. The whistle's already gone, and they're going to go upstairs. But Great Britain almost caught napping inside the opening 28 seconds. They shift to the left, it goes to the other side, and Corey Bennett and his castle can't get it underway, but it does break down, and a deflection in front of the keeper by Jacob Smith, and it's saved by Harry Gibson. Zach Wallace dropping it out and getting it back. Well, that's a good pick by Griffiths. Griffiths on the reverse. There goes, he's beating him. He's beating the keeper. Choice, somehow. A present has the early goal. Chris Griffiths, lovely bit of skill. Still going, Reece Smith pulls it back. On the reverse stick, and it's just wide from Phil Roper. Well, Reece Smith showing us what he can do. Off the bar and away. Didn't cross the line from Zach Wallace. Smith and these people have moved, there's static players all around him and it's getting turned over. dispossessed and here's the chance. Good work from New Zealand, good save. And the rebound falls kindly for Great Britain. Still running with the ball, finds Chris Griffiths. Griffiths into the circle, shot, and he's scored! Chris Griffiths has made it safe for Great Britain, you would feel. 2-0 with eight minutes remaining. That is the cushion they wanted desperately. There's still a lot of work to do. But Great Britain have the second goal. Chris Griffiths being congratulated. Then it comes again. Here's the chance. The wind up. The shot is saved. The will follow up. Got a save. Great Britain get the three points they need to make it to the grand final. Great Britain have taken it. Final score Great Britain 2. New Zealand 0. Ooh. That, uh, that was crazy. 2-0. Um, Qualify for Pro League Finals, and what a day! I'm actually blown away um, to have you know 11, 11 and a half thousand people down uh, to watch us play hockey at home in Southwest London was an unbelievable experience, and I am just so grateful to be honest to be uh, to have been a part of that. So thank you so much to everyone that came down and made that so special and. I'm really glad we could put on a performance. Uh, we played well, I think first half especially, we were really good. But yeah, what a game. Um, and the women put on a hell of a show after us as well. So crowd were going nuts for that. And yeah, just to see 11,000 hockey fans in an English stadium was uh, something really special. I have no doubt that that will be the future of English hockey, if I'm honest. Like, I think we can do that, you know, once, twice, three times a year and that will really move the game forward because that was that was another level for sure. So yeah, thank you so much England Hockey, thank you to Polly Tan, shout out for the pitch, that played unbelievably well, we were a bit worried about that but it was epic so thank you. Uh, thank you to Harlequins for having us, we'll be back again, please have us again. And thank you to all the hockey makers for coming down and making that uh, work so smoothly and obviously above all Thank you to the fans, all 11,000, however many of you, uh, for coming down and making that so special. That was that was serious. And I will remember that for as long as I live, I think. Off to Pro League Finals now. Whoop, whoop. And yeah, Amsterdam on Thursday to play against Australia on Friday, 4.15pm. Put ourselves in the medals, you know. Uh, we've been playing well, we've been training hard. So yeah, we deserve to be right up there and give it a really good go this weekend. So. Thank you again for all our support at home, Lee Valley as well, this whole Pro League you know, debut season. You guys have been incredible to have so many people down and watching, so thank you so much. And yeah, hopefully see you in Holland, some of you maybe. And like and subscribe so you can catch the next episode and follow us around in Holland at the Pro League Finals. Thanks.